the kids club was celebrating its first ever dinosaur day. Everyone planned to dress as one of these ancient creatures. Cody and her friends were all excited to see each other's costumes. Peck dressed up as a T-Rex. Your costume must have been hard to create. It's so tall, Peck, Rhea said. I know, but it was a cinch to make once I got started, Peck told her. His friends agreed it was the nicest and tallest T-Rex they'd ever seen. Peck glanced at Olo's fancy costume. Are you a butterfly? He asked. No, I'm a pterodactyl, Olo told him. Olo spread out the lacy wings he had made. You're the prettiest pterodactyl I've ever seen, Cody said. Thanks, replied Olo. Is that your triceratops floaty? Rhea asked Cody. Yes, but I made the feet and tail all by myself, Cody replied. You really look like a triceratops now, Rhea exclaimed. Excellent choice, Peck agreed. Can you guess what I'm dressed as? Rhea asked. You have a thin tail, Ala replied. And those claws are very sharp, added Cody. So are your teeth, Peck said. That's because I'm a velociraptor, Rhea told them. It's my favorite dinosaur. Everyone loved the costumes they'd created. Then Rhea noticed that someone was missing. Where is Sandy? Rhea asked. They all looked for her, but Sandy wasn't there. Just then, Sandy arrived. She wore an explorer's outfit with a hat and hiking boots. She looked nice, but she definitely didn't look like a dinosaur. What are you dressed up as? Peck asked. I'm a paleontologist, Sandy replied. That's a scientist who looks for dinosaur fossils. Cool beans, said Cody. That was a great idea, agreed Peck. Now that I'm here, I have an idea for a game we could play, Sandy said. Dinosaur hide and seek. Who's going to be the seeker? Olo asked. I will. I can be the paleontologist searching for the dinosaurs, Sandy told him. They played until Sandy found all of her friends. What an extraordinary dinosaur day, they roared. 